Since 1996, Stanford is 10 and 2 in early season tournaments and has sat down for turkey dinners in Hawaii, Alaska, and New York City. Thursday, it was San Juan, Stanford, and Old Dominion. First round of the Puerto Rico shootout. First half, Curtis Boshard gets stripped, but uh oh, Stanford regains control, and Julius Barnes is open over three. ODU coach Jeff Cable, you're down 10 at halftime. Nice shirt, though. Second half, Casey Jacobson. The three, enjoying that San Juan Sonny at 16 points on four of six, shooting from the three-point strike. Later, bow shirt. Left-handed. Stanford goes up 24 and cruises 84-60. Cardinals, Cardinal were up as much as 30 with under six minutes remaining. Ryan Mendez scored 18 points. Stanford gets to 2-0. Old Dominion made only 22 of 62 shots from the field. Utah and American University, Puerto Rico. Mismatch, the shot blocked by Trace Caton. Travis Spivey finds Caton, and the photographer would eventually as well. Caton led all scores with 19. Still in the first, Jeff Johnson. Stepping into the lane, picking it off, and Jeff says, well, I might as well just take this myself. The Utes in the middle of a 39-6 run. Later in the first, Kevin Bradley drives, misses, but there's the transfer from Duke, Chris Burgess. He had 11 and eight boards. Utah wins by 57. Rick Majerus was back in the States recovering from knee surgery. His team managed. The Utes out-rebounded their Division II foes 45-15. As AU Puerto Rico coach Flor Melendez said, universities like Utah are much more prepared than we are. Great Alaskan shootout, Ohio State and Florida State. Seminoles trying to avoid an 0-2 start. Early first half, Brian Brown is open for three. This would be a recurring theme. Still early first half, Brown downtown. Brown from the corner, he's everywhere. Brown from the top of the key, nine for nine from the field with five threes, 23 points, OSU up 11 and a half. Buckeye shot 70% in the first half. Early second half, Brown here. Ken Johnson there. Brian Brown, as we said, hit all nine of his shots, including five from three-point range. Ken Johnson, 16 points, six boards, five blocks. What a good one. John Calipari looking for his first win as Memphis coach. Last minute, Miami down one. Alex Shorts, the jumper. No, look at Mike Ensminger fighting and getting it off glass. So Miami of Ohio takes the one-point lead. The Tigers come right back. Kelly Wise, eh -eh. Shamel Jones follow blocked, but Scooter McFadden there for the stick back. Memphis takes the one-point lead. Last chance for the Red Hawks. Jason Grunkenmeyer with the ball. Look at Eugene Seals wide open. Instead, the pass goes to Ensminger, and he gets rejected by Wise, repudiated by Wise, and the Tigers hold on 60-59. to Calipari gets his first win in Memphis. In addition to the big block at the end, Kelly Wise had 22 and 14 boards, though he did miss two foul shots with 14 seconds left to give the Red Hawks a chance. Great Alaska shootout, DePaul and Syracuse first half. Syracuse forces the turnover. Deshaun Williams feeds Damone Brown. Good for two, make it three. Syracuse by 10. Moments later, Damone Brown again. Blocking Joe Tully. And Damone Brown will take it the other way and finish. Orange by 15, but late first half, back come the Blue Demons. They attack. Bobby Simmons spots Amari Sawyer, and Amari Sawyer with the lunch pail. Working it. DePaul within nine. Early second half, though. Preston Shumper takes over. Preston Shumper open over three. Shumper, 36 points. That's a career high. He was six of eight from the three point line. In Square Garden for the showcase highlight. First quarter, Lynn Greer with the one handed runner. The Temple Owls up by one. Later in the first, it's Chris Duhon getting ready for that NBA career from way, way downtown. Puts Duke up by five. Less than 15 seconds to go in the first half. Shane Battier all day. Blue Devils up by two. Early in the second, Battier again. Devils by five, they're up by as many as seven. Later in the second, Temple strong on the boards. They're big and beefy. Alex Wesby is left alone for the triple. He had 10 in the game, 41-41. More in the second half, Owls by one. Quincy Wadley pulls up and strokes it. Owls by four. Now three and a half to go, and Duke by six. Jason Williams, drive, draw, and dish. Carlos Boozer's there. Blue Devils within four. Just over two minutes to play. Duke down two. Williams feeling it. Duke by one. 
20 seconds left in the game, 61-60. Williams penetrates to Boozer, lays it in. He had 26 in the game, Duke by three, three-tenths to go. Kevin Lyde cannot find it, and the Blue Devils hang on. 63-61, Carlos Boozer named the tournament MVP. Duke wins the preseason NIT for the first time. Rico, number five, Stanford and Memphis. Casey Jacobson, pure shooter. He had 22 for the day. Second half, Stanford up 18. Ryan Mendes feeds Jason Collins, who does the chin up. He had a career high 19 and eight boards. Later in the second, Jason's twin brother, Jaron, landed in on the oop. The Cardinal win this one 83 to 60. And if you were wondering at home, Jason is eight minutes older than Jaron. Stanford goes to the championship game in San Juan. Tigers coach John Calipari said simply, at Purdue, we reload, said Katie. But after the Central Michigan loss, we are restructuring semantics that may have confused Arizona. The nation's number two, just back from winning the Maui Invitational, going right to Indianapolis to face Purdue in Saturday's wooden tradition, said Katie. I hope their legs are gone. Wildcats still without suspended center Lauren Woods. First half, Gilbert Arenas. Steal on the inbound. He will finish. Gene, Katie, your thoughts? Thank you. 18 for Arenas, 34 piece at halftime. Second half, Joe Marshall, 3 of a 16. Arizona answers, though. Jason Gardner, long three. for three to answer. He had 14. Arizona up four. Game tied now. Willie Dean banking in the laner, 2 of a 16. Boilermakers lead by two. Arizona got within one. 12 seconds left. Lamont Frazier for the lead. Blocked by Brent Busher. We're going the other way, and Dean converts on the other end. Purdue up three now. So this is the last chance for the Wildcats. Down three. Arizona got the long inbound. Luke Walton. Luke, you got a foot on the line. Son, we're down three. You needed a three there. Purdue upsets Arizona 72-69. Fittingly, Purdue wins the wooden tradition. And there's the coach congratulating his alma mater. Wildcats dropped to 0-1 on the mainland after winning three straight in Maui. Rodney Smith led the Boilermakers with 20. Even without Lauren Woods, Arizona out-rebounded Purdue 40-20. to But the Boilers shot 52% to get their first victory this season. Army and number one Duke, Mike Krzyzewski coaching against his alma mater. First half, Shane Battier. A little driving and a little dishing to Nate James. <laughs> Duke made 10 of its first 11 shots. Still in the first, and Duke's up by 35. Carlos Boozer with the steal. This guy has NBA written all over him. And the finish. He had 22. Duke up by 37. Second half. They're up 46. They pull the starters, and Nick Horvath just keeps knocking down shots. Duke wins it 91-48. The Blue Devils got to campus at 3.30 a.m. after beating Temple in New York Friday night. Coach K played and coached at Army, and because of that, he's good enough to play the cadets every year and then crush them. Women's Maui Invitational, Tennessee, Illinois. Michelle Snow. Girls, you're going to make it out. No. Michelle Snow goes for the dunk, and she throws it down. Michelle Snow, a 6'5", junior center, just the fifth dunk in a game in women's college basketball history. Snow dunked several times in warm-ups, got the breakaway late first half, and she sends it in. This after Tennessee opened the game with a 25-3 run. They blow out Illinois, 111-62. Michelle Snow joins Georgian Wells of West Virginia. That's the lead to four. They finished with 18 on 8 of 10 shooting, a lot of high percentage shots. Second half, Kurt Heinrich open for three. The Heinrich maneuver. Five of six downtown. He finished with a career high 22. Jayhawks up 28. Later, Heinrich here. Eric Chenoweth there. More Jayhawks. Heinrich, another nice feed to Chenoweth. He had a big night. 19.17 rebounds for Chenoweth. Jayhawks roll 99 56. They've won 34 straight games in November. The 500th win for Kansas at Allen Fieldhouse. Since opening Allen during Wilt's freshman year in 1955, the Jayhawks are 598 at home. Also, Michigan State beats Eastern Washington. All right, stop talking. 90-year-old John Wooden on hand for the first year of the Wooden Tradition game. Since he Notre Dame, Ryan Humphrey for the deuce. He had 10 and 12 boards. End of the first, B.J. Grove gets the rebound back up. He's repudiated by Humphrey. David Graves with the bunny. Irish by five at the break. And then Humphrey on the low block. Nice spin move. Humphrey has taken control of the highlight. Still at half two, Troy Murphy 
Top of the key, bingo. Irish by eight. Later in half two, Murphy can do it outside, he can do it inside. He had 30. The Irish win this one 69-51. Murphy with seven boards and six blocks to go along with the 30. He came back to play for Matt Doherty. Instead, he got Mike Bray, who is now 3-0 with the Irish. Bray called it a program game. Shootout title game. Closing seconds first half. Michael McDonald misses the three. Teo Robinson, Teo Johnson's rebound goes in. Cardinal up 16 at halftime. Second half now. George's D.A. Lane. D.A., just guard anybody. Anybody. You know, it's not D.A.'s fault. Georgia has six guys on the floor. Count them. It's the anti-Gene Hackman philosophy. Jim Herrick gets an indirect technical. He does not appear upset. More Georgia problems. Jason Collins working on Ezra Williams for the rebound. And look at Williams. This is just a pathetic cheap shot right there. No class, no guts, bad. Also, no call. Next play, Collins, some payback. Stanford wins 71-58. Casey Jacobson led the Cardinal with 22 points, five boards. Ryan Mendez finished with 17 points. Mike Montgomery wants his team to adopt a killer instinct, saying, Boy, can this place look imposing, especially for a team like Middle Tennessee State. Kansas's big man, Eric Chenoweth. Chenoweth, a force in the paint. He had 15. Jayhawk start and pull away didn't take long. Kirk Heinrich inside. Kenny Gregory will end up with it, knows what to do with it from there. Jayhawks were 27 in the second half. Jeff Boshi, part of the explosion, taking it to the hole. Boshi, 19.6 assists. Kansas rolls. Seven players in double figures for the Jayhawks. Last time that happened to Kansas, almost seven years ago. Eric Chenoweth, Kurt Heinrich, each with a double-double. The Jayhawks, 13-2 all-time against the Sun Belt Conference. And now off to a 6-0 start for the second straight season. Undefeated Austin P hasn't beaten Tennessee in six tries. Tony Harris, the point guard for Tennessee, acting very much like a quarterback. Yeah, former Tennessee QB Peyton Manning now with the Colts. Now, as a QB, you have to do some things yourself, so Harris driving the lane has been there before. He had 20 points to Tony Harris. Manning, you know what he can do. He can go right up the middle for the touchdown. He did that many times as a volunteer. Quarterback has to be able to throw a long pass, so Harris, the long alley to Vincent Yarborough. 15 points for Vincent. Looked familiar? Uh, much like a previous Tennessee star play by Peyton Manning. The bomb. You also have to be good under pressure. This we know, but we'd like to be reminded. Harris grabbing the loose ball, finding the open man, Isaiah Victor. 11 points for IV. A similar, familiar situation for Peyton Manning. Stuffed at the line, but you got to improvise. So Manning rolls out and fires a touchdown pass. Pretty simple. Different sports, similar responsibilities. In the end, on the basketball court at least, it was a Tennessee victory, 98 to 65. Harris was styling for the Florida welcoming in Florida Atlantic. Jonas Haslam, one of three Gators to finish with 17 points. Teddy Dupay misses the three, but Matt Bonner puts it back in. This game was 41 to 8, 14 minutes in. 15 minutes in Florida Atlantic, Florida Atlantic already called four timeouts. Dupay had 17 on the night as well. Major Parker throws the lob pass to Green for the alley-oop. Orion Green stuffs it. And Florida Atlantic has a lot to think about on the way back to Boca Raton. 58-point victory for Florida. The 43, yeah, uh, Eddie Griffin. Griffin got that one and he fills the lane. He's the trailer. Lane got it up. Oh! <laughs> Showtime continues. The strength of Darius Lane. Yeah, Lane finishes off the Eddie Griffin uh, highlight reel. Three games into the freshman's much anticipated.